This is Lance Brodzowski reporting from the American Baseball Coaches Association, known as the ABCA convention in downtown Chicago at McCormick Place. It might be two degrees outside, but honestly, it feels like we're deep in Arizona, deep into spring training inside, where we have a variety of crazy events going on, a ton of people here all connected to baseball. Right beyond me, we have a, an expo center that has a variety of tech and products that major league teams use. And behind me, there's a massive stage sprawling with individuals all connected to baseball on the, the independent side, the JUCO side, the college side, and especially on the major league side. Um, awesome speakers going through there. But specifically related to the Cubs and player development, I talked to two representatives from Rapsodo and TrackMan, two of the most heavily used devices in major league organizations for developing players about their products from a very high level view, giving you an overview kind of, of what they do and, and how they differentiate themselves from a variety of the other products at the convention. I'm really excited to be joined by Hans Deutmeier, the TrackMan President of Operations. Did I get that title correct? Pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> close enough. Good enough. <laughs> TrackMan obviously is a pretty well-known device that I think a lot of major league teams use. Stepping out to the 50,000 foot view, I'm very interested in your perspective. How would you describe what TrackMan does to the average fan? Well, TrackMan uses a combination of radars and cameras to track the baseball. We do this in 500 stadiums around the world, all across the United States and Latin America and Asia, and also in a many, many practice settings. So we track the ball, uh, the pitch, the hit, catcher throws, and teams, whether it's a pro team, a college, training facilities, use this extensively for player evaluation, player development. How would you differentiate, or how do you guys differentiate yourselves from a variety of the other tech units out there like uh, Rapsodo and uh, Yakker Tech and such? What's the differentiator for you guys? So we utilize a, a very unique and patent technology called optically enhanced radar tracking. So it uses a combination of both radar tracking and optical tracking. So it takes the best of both. Every tracking technology has its pros and cons, and we take the best of each one and combine it together in a very unique way to do it very, very reliably and very consistently and very accurately. How important is your device for player development, specifically with pitching? Uh, it's, it's really important. This device is used extensively by the top pro players and teams around the world and in the elite college programs as well. Uh, from an evaluation standpoint, really no decision is made without TrackMan Baseball anymore. So anytime in terms of who to draft, um, who to scout, who to play, TrackMan data is a component of that. From a development standpoint, it's being used extensively in pitch design, especially now that we have things such as tracking the 3D spin, the full trajectory of the ball. Uh, it's, uh, it's crucial to development of players. I imagine as you guys are a very innovative company, you have iterations of products coming down the line that potentially could revolutionize the game in various ways. Is there anything specifically you guys are working on that you're excited about? Uh, we're excited with a lot of our video integration, so there's a lot more coming down. Video is used extensively throughout baseball, so we're very excited about some of the stuff we're doing there. Uh, we're also doing a lot more in terms of tracking players, so going beyond the ball. Whether it's the player, whether it's from simple things such as where players are positioning at the start of a play, to the movement with the acceleration velocity, and you know who knows about the future and skeletal tracking. So there's a, there's a lot happen beyond just the tracking the ball these days. I'm joined now by Brian Page, the key accounts manager of Major League Baseball for Rapsodo, a very important product that I know every single team, pretty much Major League Baseball uses in some capacity to some extent. College teams, it's everywhere. Give us the 50,000 foot kind of high level view of what Rapsodo does. Yeah, sure. So yeah, thanks. So it's going to be Rapsodo. We really uh, keen in on the measurement of the ball. So you kind of get the cause and effect, or we're the effect side at Rapsodo, of how the ball is traveling. Uh, so we do a lot of radar and spin. So what spin rate is the ball out of the pitcher's hand? What spin rate is it flying off the bat? Launch angle, exit velocities, all of these uh, analytics that are in the game and we see at the highest level, we measure that for all levels of baseball. So we have many academies that use our optical technology, uh, co colleges, high schools, and as you mentioned, we are uh, used by all 30 MLB clubs so that they can track that data for their player development. They can go in and look at that data and see the launch angles, exit velocities to develop players and evaluate. So yeah, you mentioned the player development side there. How important, how integral is this product towards improving players on the major league side or any level? 
Yeah, so it's a very important tool. Like on the pitching side, uh, maybe it's a guy that you know, his curveball didn't play that well the year before. Well, they can see that exact data. They can look back, hey, how much is it breaking? What spin axis is it rotating on? And how should I change it to get a few more inches of break so that it plays better you know, that next season? Or maybe it's a player that's going to be adding a pitch. Um, a lot of on the hitting side, you know, we hit a lot in the batting cage across the country um, for you know, the off season. So actually measuring, hey, how far did that ball go when I swing with this swing path? You know, how am I striking the ball and how would that play you know, into that next season for both pitchers and hitters? Absolutely. And I imagine you guys made your name because of how innovative you are. And I imagine that just means you're going to continue to innovate. So is there anything specifically you guys are working on that you're really excited about to kind of maybe push to the public or even push to the team side in the next couple of years? Yeah, we're really excited. We actually just made the announcement that we have our first V3 Pro unit. Um, so that's a unit that actually allows coaches and players to do live on live. So actually seeing, hey, the pitch metrics along side by side with the hitting metrics. Um, as of now, we have our 2.0 units, as we call them, um, and you can do just pitching, just hitting. You can do them together, but now they're baked in with our pro unit uh, that gets full ball flight information. Um, a second thing at Rapsodo is we've launched our first in-game unit, so actually off the field of play to make that available to all levels of baseball, high school, colleges, backfields at MLB. So one of the things, the goals and missions at Rapsodo from day one is making high-level data available to the masses. So allowing a high school player to track their data, college player, doesn't have to be signed with you know, a professional organization. Uh, one thing, that you, so the V3 Pro allows them to actually see how do they perform against different pitchers for the first time? So, you know, maybe it's a player that they have a challenges against left-handers that are above a certain spin rate. Well, then now they see that, and that's something that, well, they can either dial up a pitching machine to, uh, to replicate that, or maybe it's, you know, facing, they'll face more lefties to where it's, hey, now I know that a left-handed pitcher at a higher spin rate, you know, that's one of my weaknesses, and that's something a high school player can track, a college player, um, and that all starts with validation. Uh, the reason we're utilized by all clubs is that it does match their in-game data. That's a big part of our validation process of what the Major League Baseball and Hawkeye used at the MLB level. You know, our 2.0s, our V3s, our in-game, all has to be, you know, comparable data so it can be utilized, uh, you know, at all levels. Yeah, consistency of data is huge. We really appreciate you taking the time to chat. You guys are, are a company, obviously, everyone's going to keep their eye on going forward. We're really excited. And uh, from the ABCA, thanks for joining us. Really excited to kind of bring this more to the player level talk in season. Um, two players, two individual players in the Cubs organization down in Arizona at Wrigley Field and tie all this data kind of back and help, help communicate it back to the public to get a better understanding of everything going on in Major League Baseball. That's really exciting. Thanks again.